Hello, here is our video for chapter 13 practice problems. Uh, I'm not going to do the multiple choice because this video is going to be relative, these videos are going to be relatively long um, and there's only five multiple choice questions um, and you can find those answers in the book. So we're going to get started on number six here. Um, when we're doing a uh, ANOVA in this chapter, um, analysis of variance. So for number six, we're first going to look at the question. It says a researcher is interested in the effectiveness of a new medication at reducing the fasting glucose levels for patients with prediabetes. The medication has moved into phase two of clinical trials, and we'll go on to test the effectiveness of three, this is the key part, three different doses, doses against a control. The, uh, the incomplete ANOVA table below represents the outcome of the preliminary analysis comparing the mean fasting glucose among the groups. So when we have between groups, um, if you go to page 306 in your book, I think there's a really good table that gives you everything you really need to know for calculating ANOVA. And when we go to the between groups and we look at degrees of freedom, so when you look, I'm going to kind of put off here to the side, off to the side. So you have degrees of freedom between is equal to k minus 1, where k is the number of groups you have. Well, you have three different doses against a control. So you have three and a control group, so you have four in total. So four minus one is equal to three, which is what is stated here. Here's your three degrees of freedom. Okay? In order to figure out your mean squares for uh, between groups, you take your sum of squares, so th uh, 13, 46.63, and you divide it by your degrees of freedom, and you'll get your mean squares, which is your 448.87. So you take sum of squares, divide it by your degrees of freedom, and it's going to equal your mean squares. So now we have to figure out the within groups. Within groups, uh, for your sum of squares and degrees of freedom, you, you can't get that unless you actually have the data set. But since we have the total at the very bottom, we know that the totals are always going to sum to the ac actual amount. So if you take 500 or 5,000, 387.98 and subtract it from uh, 1,346.63, you'll get your mean squares within group. When you do that, you'll get 4,041. Oops. Let's just try this again. 4,041.35. Your degrees of freedom is going to be 200. And 38, same thing. If you were to add 3 and uh, 3, 238, you'll get 241. You take your sum of squares divided by your degrees of freedom, it's going to equal your mean squares. This will equal 16.9804. And so we've completed part uh, 1. So part uh, A is to complete the table, which we did, shown there. And the next part is to calculate your F statistic. To calculate your F statistic, you're going to take your, so your F stat is equal to your mean squares between over your mean squares within. Remember, B over W, alpha quarter, way I remember, I think that one's pretty good. It's also the way it is in the back of the book. B is your numerator, um, and your well, within is your denominator. Uh, for the back of the book on top and on kind of on the side or bottom however you want to look at it and so you take your 448.87 divided by 16.9804 and you're going to get a value of 26.435 and that is your F statistics and for the purpose of right now uh, we are just going to leave it at that because that's what we are asked to do is just calculate our statistics. Remember these packets are kind of built up to slowly get you used to stuff and towards the end is the actual like full-on question. These first ones are kind of just like um, getting us there and the main thing to understand is when we're calculating NOVA we're calculating the mean squares between and the, by the mean squares within to get our F statistic and the way we find it is by taking the sum of squares of between divided by the degrees of freedom uh, for each group. So number seven set up um, exact same way, same problem, um, just different numbers. So as you can see, um, we're gonna need to complete the table above. We still have 
are three doses against the control, so that's going to be your four groups in total. You're going to subtract out your total from your sum of squares to get your within, and that's 4,672, 2, 2, 2, then we divide this to equal your mean squares within for this one, which is 21.045. And then calculate your F statistic. Remember F stat is equal to mean squares between over mean squares within. And that's going to equal 445.67 divided by 21.045. And you can get an F statistic of 21.177. And if right now that's all we're going to look at. So, the next problem um, is similar, um, but uh, a little different. We're going to go a little bit further. So, for this one, let's, uh, for number eight, so a researcher is interested in the effectiveness of a new asthma medication increasing the force vital capacity, FVC, in children. The uh, medicated spray to be used via inhaler has moved into phase two of clinical trials where five different treatment doses are being tested against the controls to control best standard of care. So once again, just kind of pause it there. So you have five different treatment doses and they're being tested against the controls best standard of care. So they're being contested against the control. So we know the number of groups is gonna be your five plus the control, so your K is going to equal six. So suppose the following, uh, suppose the following incomplete uh, ANOVA table summarizes the preliminary analysis for the study. All right, so when we go on and look at this a little bit further, so our degrees of freedom for between groups is going to be, remember that's going to be your degrees of freedom for between, is equal to k minus 1. Well, if k is 6, 6 minus 1 equals 5. So our degrees of freedom here is 5. In order to find the mean squares within, you take our sum of squares divided by degrees of freedom, it's going to equal your mean squares. So you take uh, 4,032.2 divided by 5, you're going to get 806.44. For your within, in order to calculate this part of the equation, you're going to have to, you have your total, so you're going to have to find your sum of squares, um, the difference between these two, so 7,492.7 minus 4,032.2, and you're going to get 3,460.5. When you divide this out to get your mean squares, you can get 7.8. Eight. To complete the table as part of part A, we have to add up our degrees of freedom here, and you can get 444. So part B wants us to calculate an F statistic and find the F critical value at a P value of 0 0.05. And F crit is at what point does the F value have to be higher than to show significance? So let's calculate our F statistic. So our F stat remember, is going to equal our mean squares between over mean squares within. Our mean squares between is 806.44 divided by 7.88, and that's going to give you a value of 102.3401. That's a very high F stat. Now, one thing I think people should maybe start practicing is when you equal something, this equals your F statistic. This might help you understand what you're looking at here. So now we found an F statistic, now we have to find an F critical value at P at 0.05. So this is where you go to the back of the book, and when you go to the back of the book, you're gonna to go to your table uh, D, and D, table D, remember, is divided between degrees of freedom in the numerator and degrees of freedom in the denominator. So this is where this table kind of really comes into play up here and helps out a lot. So if you have degrees of freedom 5 in the numerator, you'd find 5 at the very top of the list, and degrees of freedom 439. Well, our book doesn't go to 439. After 100, it goes to 1,000. So we're going to institute the prices right rules again, closest without going over. So you go to 100, um, and then right next to the degrees of freedom 100, you'll see all the p-values listed at alpha level 0 0.1, 0 0.05, 0 0.025, 0 0.01, 0 0.001. We want to know at p-value 0.05, so you find degrees of freedom in the numerator 5, degrees of freedom in the denominator 100 at p-value 0.05, and 
When you go over, you'll find your F critical value equaling 2.31. So your F crit is equal to 2.31. Now what this is saying is that if you had an F value that was greater than 2.31, a higher F value, greater than, higher than F value there, that you will find significance at the F level 0.05. If you didn't, if your number was less than that, then you didn't find significance at that level. Our F stat was 102.34, which is a lot higher than 2.3. If you go back to your table and you look at degrees of freedom 5 in numerator and denominator 100 at an alpha level 0 0.001 and went over to that value, that F credit value is 4.48. So having an F value of 102 is even more significantly higher than 4.48. Therefore, we have more and more uh, evidence against the null hypothesis to reject it. So that is how you find the F crit value and your F stat with the square. So same thing for number nine, same question, just different uh, numbers. So everything in there is going to be the same. Our F critical value is going to be the same. The number of uh, groups we have is the same. So remember, the number of groups we have here is five different treatments being contested against a control. Five and one, which is your K, so it's equal to six. Degrees of freedom for between is going to be your six minus one, so it's going to be five. Divide by five equals the mean squared, 779.7. Seven. Find the difference between the sum of squares with the total. That's 3,000. 980.28 divide these out and get your mean squares within value, which is 9.97562. Table part of A, add up your degrees of freedom. This is going to be 404. So now we've completed the table. Check mark that box. Find your F statistic, F stat. And equal mean squares between over mean squares within 779.7 seven, seven, divided by 9.9756. This can give you F statistic value of 78.1607. Goes your F stat. And to find your F critical value, we do the same thing that we just did above. You find your degrees of freedom numerator and degrees of freedom in your bottom uh, denominator in your bottom, and find this at the p value that's listed. This one, like I said, is the exact same. So your F crit is going to equal 2.31, which our F stat is higher than our F crit. Therefore we have significant evidence to reject the null hypothesis. Okay, so that is, so we've, we've worked up a little bit more in the table and we found an F critical value. Uh, number 10 question, not gonna get to, because I only have one more minute left. Um, so we'll pick up the next video and go over uh, 10 and 11. This is where we actually start doing more data and actually having to calculate the true, the actual mean squares between and mean squares within within the